everyone my name is Lawrence and welcome to this two days free graphic design class so in this class we're going to be creating a simple social media flyer like so so what we're going to do we're going to create a new file and set our dimensions to 1080 by 1080p and set our resolutions to 300 and don't touch any one of these then click on create once you have created this we're going to add our guide so you come to your view and press new guide layout and click on ok this helps you to navigate like your work so that you want to go over and make your work look unarranged or un 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 unorganized so you come here onto under view and you lock your guide so that you won't move it by mistake when you are arranging your work so once we have done that we want to start by adding our background so guys come here click and drag our background and place it inside our work you can see it will fill this place to fill our work so click on our tick mark I click on our tick mark this is what we'll get so this is it here so we'll lock our background also so next we're going to add next object our wooden floor so we'll click and drag it into Photoshop again and release it here so I'm going to resize it to make it bigger so let's drag it up and drag it again and yeah I'm okay with this so once I've done that we'll place this here and we'll lock it also so next we're going to be adding our image of our pizza so there's the image here so we'll click this here and bring it here into our Photoshop and yeah there is it so before we reduce, reduce the size we'll come here to edit transform and we'll click on flip horizontal you can decide to leave yours in a more with this but before mine like this so you will resize it to have resize it we'll drop it here so we'll make it bigger a bit and this is okay so we'll click on our tick mark so if I click on our tick mark, we're going to be adding a realistic shadow to this design to make it to make the pizza look as if it is directly on this wood here. But before that, let's select and select all and place our image in the center as you can see. So click on Ctrl D or Command D on Mac, or you can simply come here and click on the select option down here. So once we have done that, we'll come here and drop down this menu down here below FX. Now we'll click on drop shadow. A box will open, dialog box will open where we can make changes to our design so we'll come here as you can see it's the realistic shadow so set your opacity of to 66 percent set your distance to 166 uh, pixels set your spread to zero and your size of your shadow to 150 and you leave your angle at 90 degree and set your blend mode to zero and make sure your drop shadow color is black color once you have done that click on ok as you can see it's looking very real as if it's on top of our work so once we have added that the next thing we're going to be doing will lock it to avoid movement so once we lock it we'll now come and add another image from here click on this and click and drag into our photoshop this is our sparks so as you can see this is it so what we're going to do we're going to click and drag it and place it in between our background and the wooden floor you can see it's okay at this point here now our design is okay here so we're going to lock it also once i've locked it we'll come here and still add our other object so i'm going to do we're going to select this tree object this tree chili pepper and we'll click and drag it into our design so first of all we got the red one first so you reduce the size don't worry if it's behind your work so you can you can still click and drag it since you're transforming it so you reduce it here then you can rotate it if you come to the edge you can see the, your arrow is curved so you can rotate it the way you want then you now click and place it in your design I still want mine smaller reduce it and place it up here so once I've planned I'll click on our tick mark the next picture will appear for us to resize it so resize this so remember our transform tool that we use under our edit option on the menu bar we use it again we come to edit and then come to transform and click on flip horizontal i want it facing the other way so as you can see i 
I've made it face the other way so I'll rotate it and place it here so place this here don't worry about it being behind the background so far you are having your desired size you have so we'll just place this here and click on our tick mark then next placing this our green chili let's rotate it a bit first before resizing it then after i've resized it you can now place it just to make it smaller it's too big and depending on the size you want if you're working on a bigger kind of design so we'll place one here on the bottom click on our tick mark as you can see we have placed all our objects so we'll select all of these by clicking on the first one then hold your shift key on your keyboard and click right click on the last one then you click and drag it above this as you can see you have your designs outside so on this green one we want to make a duplicate of it so you can either press ctrl j or you can do that option we did all the time by dragging it to the bottom here and making a copy of it then you can click and drag your copy has been made so we'll place this here like this amplify it like it so once i've done that we're not going to be adding motion blocks to this pepper this chilies so we'll click on this first one first and okay, this is the red one then we'll come to filter then we'll come to blow then we'll click on motion blow when you click on motion blow if you notice you can see the pepper you can see how it's blood you can see how it's blood out if you look at here see so it's blood out so this is for rotating the angle you want the blow to be let me increase it so that you can see what i'm talking about as you can see this controls the angle in which you want the blow to be so if i want it like this i want it like this very straight you can choose whatever angle you prefer so i'm just going to use a six degree and reduce the distance a bit to 46 and click on ok so we'll do this for the remaining for the remaining things so once i've added our blow you can see now we're going to select this and hold our shift key and select the last one and we'll group them by clicking this folder icon here you can see create a new group then click on it it groups them together as once this helps us to arrange our work nearly neatly so you can double click on this and change type the name to chili icon chili pngs and click on enter as you can see then we can lock it to avoid movement so once we have locked it we add in our name so we'll come here and I'll type tool and click here and type pizza yeah simple Control a and change the color to a white color completely white so click on ok once you have done that you can click on your tick mark or you can increase the size but i'm going to increase my size like this by clicking and dragging at the edge to make it bigger when i'm making this bigger as you can see and i'm going to drag this here directly above you can see this guide this smart guide is aligning it for us to the bottom of the, to the top of this pizza image we have here so that it will be equal so we'll click on our tick mark once i've done that then we're now going to add another text so we'll click on here and type hot and hot and delicious so as we've done that we're going to change the color to a red color so come here come to this character tool here and change it to a red color yeah that's beautiful so once we've done that we'll now come here and reduce the size of this and to maybe a nine pixels nine points yeah that's okay that's smaller so we're going to go back to our move tool and place this directly on top of our pizza you can see how our smart guide work so you can choose to increase the size a bit if we want it so that our audience will see what the message we are trying to pass out so you can say and place it here or you can just simply press ctrl e as we did the first time and align to the center very simple so click on ctrl d or command d to unselect it or deselect then we can see enlarge this a bit increase the size i want this bigger ah that's better so once we have made it bigger we'll now do the same thing for it 
as you can see we don't need to do the control a and the center alignment it's already aligned to the center of the pizza as you can see so we just place it here and that's okay and move it up a bit so once i've done that we'll now lock this layer too so let's let's group two of them first select the two of them and group them and type header text or you can just type title if you want so once i've done that we'll lock this so we're going to be adding these shapes that i see here this shapes that i created here so i'm going to be adding them so we'll come here and we'll come to our pen tool let's come to our pen tool what we're going to do let's zoom in a bit by pressing ctrl plus 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 and you can use this scroll bar to direct your work click on one point in our design click on another point click on another point and join it together with this point here so once we have done that what we're going to do we're going to drag this point here as you can see drag that point there so we'll drag this one to this side make it here so we're going to add a point at this place when you look at your pencil you can notice a plus icon below it as you can see you can notice a plus icon so click on the plus icon it to add a point then we'll now drag it here to make this smaller just in and we can reduce the height of it you can reduce the height like the width of what you're working on if you want to make it fatter you can click on the point and add the point again and make yours fatter and yeah i prefer my lady so click and change our fill to a white color so you can see it's a white color and go back to your move tool and we'll drag it and place it up here so we can reduce the size if you want to reduce mine a bit and click on my tick mark so i'm going to make a copy of this so come here and make a copy and i will drag it to the bottom and i can rotate it and rotate it a bit to match very well so now rotate only is this as you see it, it's curved so you rotate it to the way you want and when that's okay you click on your tick mark here and you position it so what i'm going to do i'm going to change the color let me show you how you would change the color very easily so you come to your windows tool here and click on your colors as you can see then you now click on swatch you click on swatch there are different options there so i want to be using an orange color and for that orange color this is the color code here so you can come to your this your foreground and background color here and change the color code to ff e e 0 or you can use a different color of orange if you want you can want to maybe you want to use a darker orange color or a lighter orange color you click on ok then when you now come to your swatches here make sure your this is selected then you now click on this see they've changed the color for you very easily so we're going to make a copy of this so let's when you look at here you can see these options here our layers so we're going to group this layer together so we'll group our ship together let's group them together once i've grouped them together just let's name it shapes and that's okay ships and click on enter so we're going to make a copy of it See, you can see shape copy so we're going to zoom out control minus or command minus on your keyboard once you have zoomed out you can now click on the edge of this or you can press ctrl t to transform it so that you can move two of them at once then when you now bring them to this point here you will now come to your edit and click on transform and click on flip horizontal you can see that flipped it horizontal so we can now place it here in our design and if you want it smaller you can reduce the size by this side and click on your tick mark and click on this one to reduce the size too so to reduce the size and click on your tick mark also as you can see our design is taking shape gradually so next we'll be adding our logo 
so click and drag it into our Photoshop and place it here. So we're going to reduce the size. Let's reduce it, reduce, 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 reduce. Then let's zoom in. Zoom into the top here. Then we'll come to edit, transform and flip horizontal. So again. So we'll place this here. You can see our guideline. So let's not make our logo to go beyond these guidelines. Let's use our direction tool on our keyboard, just up and down and left and right key on our keyboard to place it very well and very right. So we'll arrange it. And yeah, that's okay. Now click on our tick mark and add our logo name. The name of our company is Thunderbyte. So we're just going to type Thunderbyte. And leave the color and the orange color that we used earlier it's no problem if you want you can change just to your white color so we'll click and drag this and place it just here in fact place it here if you want you can reduce the size to make it smaller and i will do the same thing to the logo click on it and reduce the size too reduce the size to match that of the text then we'll click on our tick mark and move the text closer to it mm, yeah this okay so once i've done that we'll click on ctrl zero to zoom out and fit our design to our work layout so as you can see now what is left for us to add is our contact info and the 50 percent of sign so come here and add and drag it here, drag it, I'm going to drag it and place it here. So click on my tick mark. As I've placed that, I can decide to bring it lower. Mm, yeah, this is okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my type two. I'm going to type 50% of 50% click on enter and off so click on ctrl a and change the whole the whole of the text to white color first and once i've done that you can drag it here so let's zoom in a bit into this point here to the ctrl plus or command plus so what we're going to do we're going to come here and select everything then we'll come to our characters panel and change the line spacing so you can see Different line spaces work for different of your design. So I'm going, I'm okay with this. I'm going to change this back to an orange color. So you can just simply just after I've highlighted it, just click on this orange color here. Simple. That's all. And click on my tick mark. So I can still decide to change and make this. Sorry, percent, not and. So I'm going to select this and make it bigger. And change it to a 14 point. And click and tick mark this is okay for me so go back to my move tool and collapse this back and place this here yeah that's perfect so next we're going to be placing our contact if info so let's come here to the bottom type 24 slash 24 slash 7 then enter to go to the next line then type hours delivery so we're going to do we're going to make this top part white color so we'll change it to a white color and click on ok then do the same thing for the bottom part and change it to an orange color then we'll click on our tick mark so we'll move back to our move tool and position this down here so I've positioned it down here. Then we're going to add our number. We're adding our number. We're going to use our Mont Serrat tool. Our Mont Serrat for be using a bolt, Mont Serrat bolt. Then uh, change that also. Then we'll change that later. Then we'll type our number 81706982883. And yeah, that's it. So we'll change the color. To a white color click on okay 
and we'll place this here for a while first let's reduce the size let's make it 10 point and come back here and change this font to our hey august font and click on it and see it's back to normal so once i've done that now please come down here and type call for delivery now control a it and change it on the characters panel to a semi bold then when we have done that we we'll reduce the size and bring it down to a nine point let's make it smaller let's make it a six point yeah that's better then we'll place it directly under our phone number and click on our tick mark and go back to our move tool and that's it simple social media flyer so you have seen